Hi, I'm Sue Vega, and you're watching HD Music News. 37 years ago, Kate Bush released the song Running Up That Hill as part of her album Hounds of Love. The single went to number three in Britain and number 30 in the United States and took its place as a signature piece of Bush's catalog. Then came Stranger Things. After Running Up That Hill was featured prominently in the latest season, the song began to climb the charts again, posting huge numbers on streaming services and catching fire on TikTok. It was Spotify's most streamed track throughout the world last week with 57.2 million clicks and is showing no signs of slowing down. Johnny Depp will perform alongside Jeff Beck at the 56th edition of the Montreux Jazz Festival on July 15th. Depp has joined Beck for several performances on his latest tour and the two have been friends for years. Johnny Depp first performed at the festival in 2018 with the Hollywood Vampires. Post Malone and his fiancée have welcomed their first child. The rapper revealed this during an appearance on The Howard Stern Show on Monday. Avril Lavigne has set her sights on releasing a cookbook. The singer released her seventh studio album, Love Sucks, in February. But despite her busy schedule, Avril recently revealed that she wants to write a cookbook which showcases her gourmet recipes. My food is like gourmet, she said in an interview for The Guardian. I can do everything, pasta, sauce, vegan, salads, and soups. I can do every kind of soup. Per Billboard Global 200, the current top 10 songs are at number 10, First Class by Jack Harlow, number nine, Provenza by Carol G, number eight, Moscow Mule by Bad Bunny, number seven, I Like You by Post Malone, Number six, About Damn Time by Lizzo. Number five, Ojitos Lindos by Bad Bunny. Number four, Titi Me Pregunto by Bad Bunny. Number three, Me Porto Bonito by Bad Bunny. Number two, As It Was by Harry Styles. And the number one song on the Billboard Global 200 is Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. Please help keep HD Music News going strong by hitting the like, subscribe, and notifications buttons. This week's spotlight is on Matt Long and The Revenant Ones from the UK. Let's take a look.
No! 